you know, one of the things yeah. I did want to talk to you actually and, and get your opinion on this, because I've always wondered, you know, Puerto Ricans, I always say, uh, Cubans are a little bit jealous of Puerto Ricans. I'll tell you why. Because I always feel... We're super like, similar. Like, no, I Cubans agree. Cubans and Puerto Ricans. I agree. Food, but I, music. But I always say, man, if the U.S. were just, you know, inhabited us, man, the potential. Yeah. You know, not like it is now where it's like, you know, we're screwed no matter what. But Cubans are always a little jealous of Puerto Ricans in that sense. You know, so how, how does it feel growing up Puerto Rican, you know, in the sense of your culture and as a U.S. citizen? How does yeah. that feel? It's funny. Um, yeah, it's a great question. To be honest, I didn't realize until until I met her how how blessed you know I am. First of all, I want to say, man, that we're all equal. You know, like um, this. Can I? I don't want to curse. Yeah, you can curse. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. No matter. Such bullshit to me, man. Mm -hmm. Like. Oh, are you a US, U.S. citizen? Oh, you're not a U.S. citizen. Oh, I'm sorry, man. It's just this piece of paper is going to, you know, you're a U.S. citizen. You know what I mean? Um, but it's 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 definitely a, a blessing. I didn't realize how how hard a lot of, you know, Hispanic people have it right now, you know, just because they don't have that opportunity to be, you know, a U.S. citizen. Mm-hmm. And um, me growing up as a Puerto Rican, um, I've always, uh, you know, felt connected to the U.S. Of course, it's part we're part of the U.S. Um, but yeah, Puerto Rico, even though it's part of the United States, it has its own. You know, we have our own culture. Mm -hmm. You know, we're super similar. Like you know, Cubans. We. I said. Yeah. <laughs> See. <ya. laughs> we have que es la que hay ustedes. Mm -hmm. You have your your own. Um, <laughs> um, but no, the reason why I asked you that, that in particular about the Puerto Rican thing, not only because, again, I think Cubans are jealous uh, in that regard, uh, but also of what's going on in this country right now with immigration. And, you know, I, I, I want to go more in as what do you mean of uh, that being a U.S. citizen means something or not in that sense. So, first of all, I want to say that it, it doesn't mean, like, I know it means a lot, you know, because okay. of the world we live in. But I was just, uh, you know, making fun of the fact that it's just a piece of paper that says that you're you're this, you know? Gotcha. Yeah. But I, I know the importance, you know, of, of people wait years, you know, just to to become a citizen and have all these opportunities, you know, because... The truth is, this country gives you a lot of opportunities if you're really looking for them, you know? A hundred percent. You know? And, and, you know... And a lot of people sacrifice their lives just to come here, man. Crossing that border or doing, you know, whatever. Starving kids. Cruzando the frontera. Cruzando I mean, frontera. I, I did that. You did it? Yeah. Wow, man. That was one of the things we had to do. Wow, man. Respect. Um, and that's, that's why I always, I always feel like I'm sitting in the middle in a sense, you know, because people look at me, they hear me speak and they're like, oh, white American guaranteed, hmm. you know? And then when I tell my story, I start speaking Spanish. You're like, okay, this guy's Cuban. So what the hell are you? Yeah. You know? And so I understand both perspectives in the sense of, I feel like to a certain degree, people who are born in the U S no longer feel that pride of being an American. And the immigrants coming in are the ones that start building that pride. It's crazy. Like, you know, I I I tell this all the time to anybody I speak. I am I'm an American that was born in Cuba. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Cuban American. Mm -hmm. It's two different things. You know, because I'm so happy that my 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 kids were born here. That's why I say we're jealous of Puerto Ricans. You can become president. I can't. Yeah. You know, so even if we got here early, like my brother, he got here at four years old. He's basically American. Mm -hmm. We don't have that. Yeah, we have this deep, deep pride in protecting this country because we understand that it just doesn't exist like this anywhere else in the world. Whether you disagree with the politics, you know, whatever's going on, societal, you know, the privileges, the rights that we are afforded in this country don't exist anywhere else exactly like this. Where we have this crazy mix 
it's okay to you know fight, yell at each other, yeah, do whatever you want. You know, it's freaking crazy. You know, and I feel like nowadays immigrants, for the most part, especially the ones that have been here for a long time, that have can really sacrificed to make something of themselves, feel deeper pride than just regular Americans, and that just trips me out. I don't yeah. understand it. Yeah, I get it in a way. You know, you're trying so hard to achieve something. And then you become that and, and then it's just like this, you know, their greatest achievement, you know. And, and, and do you think that's just because I go back to the beginning, uh, it's just afforded to you right from birth? Or do you feel like that's just something, well, you know, we understand the right, but we have to keep working to make it better. Like, where does that come from? Um, Meaning that, that I was born uh, being a U.S. citizen? Correct, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that I, like that loss of pride, like I'm saying, of, of the yeah. U.S. When I came to the U.S., I remember it was like you can mess with white Americans; those oh, yeah. guys are powerful. You know, those are big yeah, guys; they'll mess you up. Yeah. And now I'm like, no, no we don't care. We're just speaking Spanish are, in front of them. Like, yeah, it, yeah. it's not that. You know, yeah. I, don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. Yeah. You know, my son is one of the, the only few kids that speak Spanish in the school Amazing. because I only speak Spanish to him. And so, if I'm an American, I was to say, I would be like, bro, relax. I'm on your side. But I also don't want him to be dumb. You know, I know how to speak Spanish. Yeah. You know, knowing both is speak a great advantage. Like speaking both Spanish and English. So I agree. Thing. But I, but I mean more like American men, and I, I have a couple of American friends. They they feel like they need to shut up nowadays more than ever, and they can't even speak. Yeah. You know, I know. and I I really wonder what made that phenomenon, and maybe it's you know what I'm saying. It's like, well. If I'm born rich, well, if I'm born here, then I I don't really appreciate it as much yeah. as if damn I had to work to get this. You it's know, true. And I'm even gonna go here. I, this is only you know, I feel that some some Puerto Ricans take it for granted too. I feel, you know, they have this opportunity to do this, and I respect that too. You know, some people don't want to live here, and I I respect that too. You know, but it's just um, it's very ironic in my opinion that there's a lot of people trying to you know crossing borders like doing all these things and you know there's some people that don't care that's, that's how why, life is you know that, that's why the immigration issue is always a touchy one for me because yeah I understand, for me too for i understand me too. americans you know in the sense of like man we don't want a bunch of people here in the sense of is there actual like a good process right now being done as to uh, we want to filter these people who's coming in who shouldn't be here and at the same time, like, man, like, I always say is I could have been in Cuba complaining about communism, not having shit. And here I am, you know, and, and, and what we consider still, in my opinion, the greatest country in the world, you know, with the rights it affords you. You know, who am I to deny those people coming in here that opportunity? It's exactly. tough. Super tough. You know. Um, and these people are willing to put in the work, you know, do all these things. And it's just... I mean, prime example. It, it, yeah, exactly, bro. You I know? was going to say, look, you know. Prime example. And I don't know what to do about it. I, I really do have, obviously, opinions. But I, I feel like, man, the opinions right now are so controversial. It's crazy. I mean, any yeah. any, any side you kind of yeah. really dig into too much, you know, it, it automatically just people won't hit, listen yeah. to you anymore. It's That's crazy. why I, I started saying that we're, we're all human beings, man. We're all the same, in my opinion, man. It's all about opportunity and access, and in a lot of ways too. And I and I say that. That's why, man, we're in the U.S. Get to work, guys. Get yep, up. Yep. You know, make a plan and, and and do something. You have that right here. Yep. You don't like your president. You can say bad stuff to him on Twitter, you know? <laughs> <laughs> True. You know, I don't know if you're on Twitter or not, but man, Twitter is crazy. Yeah. I always say, you know, Twitter right now reminds me of when I grew up playing video games. I, I grew up playing World of Warcraft a lot. Uh-huh. And it just it was just filled with trolls. I was a troll, yeah. you know? And that's what Twitter is right now. It's just troll central. And in a weird way, I always wonder, oh, you know, what do we want in our society? Do you, we want trolls? Mm -hmm. Like a society where, you know, we have free speech, anybody can say anything, and obviously you're going to have people, you know, that just live to get other people pissed off. That's what a troll is, right? Or we have the opposite, like, you know, we've gotten so sentimental that we don't want to be offending each other to a certain point that, okay, now, if I'm even saying something critical, being critical and demeaning you are two different things. Exactly. 
when I'm being critical, I'm, I'm coming from a, a position of care and, you know, I want to help you. I, I honestly think you're doing this wrong. This is my suggestion, you know, as the meaning where I'm just making fun of you. Exactly. I don't want to help you out. Exactly. You know, and, and that's, I think, I think as an in America, we can have both. It doesn't exist. No. Nope. We're either run by trolls mm-hmm. or we're run by, by people who suppress you. What do you want? Exactly. You know, so it's like, man, that, that's, where, that's where it gets crazy. Yeah. You know? To be honest, that's why, I, in my opinion, too, like I became who I am, too, because you see all these people making fun of each other, right? you know, the trolls and whatever. Like, what if, what about us, you know, the people that really want to do something, you know, but I feel that some people are just too afraid to speak up. That's, that's why, like, I decided to change my life, too, because I'm like, look at this. Like, what are they saying? They're not even making any sense. Like, I should go for it. A hundred percent. You know? A hundred percent. And plus, we, we only live once. I, 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 you know, I don't know how you lived in Puerto Rico, um, but I wanted to talk a little more about that. Do people usually think that Puerto Rico, just because it's a territory, for the most part, you're living in just like the U.S., like the first world country. What is Puerto Rico? I mean, I've been there on vacation, but it's different when you live there. You know, I can yeah. safely say Cuba is a third yeah. world country. It's a, yeah. it's a crap hole. Yeah. You know, what is Puerto Rico exactly? Is it first, second, third? What do you what do you consider it? I mean, I'd say it's it's first, uh, you know, world. Okay. Because um, whatever's here is over there too. Basically, it's the same thing. Okay. But all the signs are in Spanish. Mm. You know, instead of stop spare, you know, like stuff like that. But um, it's basically as if you're living here, but everybody speaks Spanish. That's the only thing. I'd say, um, but um, there's, like I said, there's a, we're very similar when it comes to our culture and when it comes to, you know, music, um, I'd say that that's where we're super different from the United States. For example, uh, back in the eighties, you know, we used to, you know, salsa was super uh, popular. Now it's reggaeton. You know, no, I mean, Puerto Rico is dominating the Latin world right now. It's, yeah, it's, it's the truth. Yeah, you know, Bad Bunny is he is who he is, man. He's yeah, he just knows how to get it done, you know. Yeah, you know, and I I think not only are we alike, you know, we we identify with each other because it's a similar setting. Our you accents know. are basically the same, basically. very I mean, similar, yeah, very similar, yeah, except some Cubans are more Russian. <laughs> now, here, here's what I said, I'll say about that the other day. I had a discussion um, with one of my jiu-jitsu partners. And he's like, oh, where are you from? Oh, I'm Cuban. I was born in Cuba. And he's like, really? Bro, you look American white. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm a real Cuban. You know, I was, in, I was born there. He's like, what the, f- the hell are you talking about? What do you mean? You know, you're white as hell. Like, what do you mean by that? Bro, what I mean by Cubans being Russians is you see the ignorance of these white-ass Cubans with chains up to the neck, four or five chains. You know, I had a parent, one of the other parents, I'm not going to say who he is, but one of the other parents of the kids, he's one of those guys, white as hell. You know, the other day he came dressing all white, La Santeria, esa cosa, uh-huh. and with chains everywhere. The dude parks in a handicap with a handicap sticker. Dude's not handicapped. Oh, my God, you know, bro. I'm like, and I'm like, this is the most backwards, ignorant <laughs> shit, you know, and, and this is a white guy. But he's just ignorant. You're a Russian, basically. You know, I don't know. Russians don't get insulted by me. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> like I'm Pacino. Like you know, like, yep, you're, yep, yep. you're just so ignorant. You don't yep, know any yep. better. In you Puerto know? Rico, we call them hijuaros. Yeah, like, it exists as well. Yeah. They're freaking crazy people. Yep. Okay, yeah, right. yep. so we do have a lot of yep. yeah, yep, yep. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy, man. 